The Kennedys came into power uh, promising a civil rights platform that was very sweeping, but neither Kennedy brothers, the Attorney General or the President, had much experience with African Americans personally, nor much knowledge about the extent of violence that maintained the Southern segregationist order. So their learning curve was rather steep. Now they had repeatedly had to manage crises coming out of the South, the Freedom Rides, which they opposed, the integration of the University of Mississippi, uh, where 2,000 whites rioted against James Meredith. The Kennedys stood behind a court order in that sense. They were not necessarily behind integration. But when you have a massive revolt in May and June of 1963, they are learning very quickly. Actually, the channels of communication are very thin and haphazard, so they know probably about as much uh, about Cuba as they do about Birmingham. And they are learning from selected individuals in the press, New York Times correspondent Claude Sitton, from leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., from the comedian Dick Gregory. They're searching for insights wherever they can get them into why the Negroes are on the streets and what it would take to get them off the streets. A key assumption that the Kennedys and officials in the Justice Department made at the time was that you really could not have nonviolence on the scale that it was being practiced, that the kind of massive civil disobedience you saw in Birmingham would inevitably everywhere cause uh, mob violence. They didn't really go into analyzing you know, who would start it, but generally they, they described the onus of responsibility on the protesters. They, um, so uh, for example, uh, in Birmingham, uh, Robert Kennedy in an in a audio tape of, of the Oval Office says, well, some people follow Martin Luther King, and when they're hit, they kneel down and pray. But other people are really tough, and they throw bricks and knives. And so they had a kind of a dual uh, perception that didn't allow for understanding mass action as also nonviolent. So pretty much in Kennedy's speech, he says um, parades and protests threaten the public order, threaten lives. <laughs> 